I'm Karen Clark, and I'm a Tonkinese breeder. I live in the Kingston area. Even my husband will ask me, why am I doing this? <laughs> I love animals. I love animals, and, and cats are my passion. And that's what keeps me going every day. If I don't feel very well, or if I, uh, you know, if my arthritis is bad that day or whatever, um, I can't stay in bed or <laughs> sit down and do nothing. I have to, uh, I have to get up and uh, get moving. And, and these guys are so, uh, you know, they're friendly and they're, uh, you know, uh, waiting for you in the morning. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice. The, um, the Tonkinese breed is, um, um, the origins are Burmese and Siamese. And um, I first got interested because I owned a, an old fashioned traditional uh, Siamese many years ago, and I loved the, the, the breed. And when I was retiring, I decided that I would uh, like to breed cats. And the Tonkinese breed was the one that was closest to the, uh, to the, the traditional Siamese. So that's why I uh, ended up with the Tonkinese. Because they're friendly, they're affectionate, they love to play, they're uh, constantly jumping up and down or climbing on your shoulder or having a lot of fun. They can be trained uh, much like a dog sometimes. They'll uh, retrieve, they'll uh, meet you at the door, they'll, uh, you know, they're just a, a fun-loving sort of cat. The advantages of having a, a pedigree animal, whether it's a dog or a cat, is that you know where the animal has come from, you know what the breeding lines are, you know what to expect from its personality, you know how it's going to, how, how big it's going to be when it grows up, how it's, uh, you're hoping that it's going to be a healthy cat, etc. Having said that, um, there are lots of household cats, um, rescue cats, etc., that are just as nice and just as lovable as a, a purebred. But the, the difference is that you may not know what the personality is going to be and whether or not they've come from a healthy background. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I, I love all cats. I have, um, I have rescue cats, I have um, pet cats, and I, and I breed, uh, and it's for fun. It's, um, that's, that's, that's what I, I like. I also, I, I, I also have dogs, but um, cats happen to be my, my passion. Shows are set up for both um, uh, the breeders to show their cats and to meet with one another and to have the judges in to uh, look at your cats, but it's also for the public to come and see, especially for them to come and see different breeds, because it's very difficult in, uh, if you're, well, anywhere, even in large cities or small cities, it's very difficult to see different breeds. Whereas if you go to a show, you're gonna see, you know, long-haired, short-haired, um, you know, every, you know, many, many different types of breeds. So, uh, it's, it, and it is for the breeders also to, um, to showcase their cats and uh, give people an idea of what they look like and how they act. I will be entering uh, three of my, uh, of my Tonkinese cats. I have, uh, I'm entering them in three different classes. I'll have uh, one kitten there and I'll have one um, female adult and I'll have uh, uh, one uh, female uh, premier. And um, we're, we're hoping, of course, that we'll win a ribbon. <laughs> you only win the big ribbons if you get, uh, uh, the big rosettes you get if you win a final. In the in in your class, so, but you'll have um, they'll be judged in four different rings on the, each day, and they'll so four judges will decide whether or not your cat is um, in the top ten or top fifteen, depending on the numbers of cats that are entered in the show, and each judge finals their particular group of cats, so that's the that's the fun part of the show. I hope he likes getting brushed. The grooming, of, uh, the grooming of the cats is uh, one of the most important things for a show. Uh, usually you're, you'll be bathing the cat and uh, you know, so they'll be getting their shampoo, their conditioner and their blow dry or whatever, whatever you happen to use for your particular cats. And that of course is always a challenge. Everybody has seen the, uh, you know, the, the videos of cats being uh, washed and wet and believe me it's all true. <laughs> so, uh, in my case, I'm actually very lucky because I have short-haired cats, and mine are pretty simple. They're, it's pretty easy to uh, get them ready for a show. You know, they get a bath, and uh, 
uh, chamois down and um, conditioner and whatnot. But the folks with long-haired cats have a lot more work to do. The big challenge, I think, is keeping um, all of your uh, uh, cats healthy. Um, if you do have, you know, if you have a, an upper respiratory infection or something, then it's often everybody will get it. So then you, um, you know, you have to treat everybody. So the big challenges are your veterinary bills and other challenges are just, it's, uh, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. If you wanna go away, you have to have someone who's capable uh, to come in and look after your animals. And uh, that can be a challenge. I'm, I'm very lucky. I have um, a really good um, pet sitter who uh, uh, looks after my guys. Um, and I think they're probably the biggest challenges that you have. Plus, of course, it's the um, um, maintenance, uh, cleaning and uh, scouring and disinfecting and whatnot, which is very important with cats because they can pass diseases or um, uh, illnesses along very easily, so that's um, a big challenge. You have that natural, yeah, and I, I guess I... Yeah. The folks that I've met through, uh, uh, through breeding, have, they, they, it's, just, it's been wonderful. I have many what I've, I now consider lifelong friends that have been made for, from breeding, and that's both other breeders and mostly from people who have um, adopted uh, some of my cats. Uh, lots of them uh, come back for another one, and the and it's it's wonderful to get the uh, the pictures, the updates of uh, the cats with the kids or uh, with other animals in the household or whatever. It's it's just uh, uh, I guess that's they're the they're the best times. <laughs>